search is underway tonight for a motorcyclist who struck and seriously injured a teenage boy in a crosswalk and took off. Community members in Boyle Heights say it happened in an intersection known to be dangerous. KJ5's Chris Wolf is live at the scene with the very latest on the investigation and an update on the boy's condition in a story you'll see only on 5. Chris? That's right, MB and Micah. We now have the name and face of this young victim. He is 13-year-old Joshua Mora of Boyle Heights, a local eighth grader who lost his right leg in this hit and run crash. His family tells me he's in stable condition tonight. Take a look behind me. This is the intersection where it happened, Whittier Boulevard and Orme Avenue. It is just a T intersection with a simple crosswalk, no flashing lights, nothing. What people who live and work in this section of Boyle Heights describe as an extremely dangerous intersection became the scene of a horrific hit and run crash Thursday afternoon. This is Whittier Boulevard, where this main road meets the smaller Orme Avenue in a T intersection. According to witnesses and investigators with the LAPD, a 13-year-old boy was in the crosswalk crossing Whittier Boulevard when a motorcycle failed to stop and slammed into the teenager, severing his leg. Police say the motorcyclist did not render aid or identify himself and sped off following the impact. A woman who works in a nearby restaurant was too traumatized to talk on camera, but explained to us that the boy was in shock, not quite understanding what had just happened, and was struggling to get up, but could not on one leg. She called 911 and tells us paramedics came quickly. Another local business shared surveillance footage of what we believe to be the motorcycle just before the collision, heading eastbound on Whittier Boulevard. People we spoke with say they have been appealing to city leaders and local representatives for quite some time to improve conditions at this intersection. Danny Zelaya works at the nearby Boulevard Cafe and says a car nearly ran him down when he was using the same crosswalk recently. It's dangerous. People don't stop. They got to have a, a, a light. You don't think a crosswalk is enough because they're, no, they're not it's stopping? Not, it's not enough. It's not safe. Extremely dangerous. Every single time I have to like wave people down to get them to stop. People are going down this road. Like there's a high school and a middle school right across the street. It's very sad to me that someone, you know, got hurt. At last word, authorities were looking for a white male driving that motorcycle. Anyone with information should contact the LAPD. Live in Boyle Heights, Chris Wolf, KTLA 5 News. Chris, thank you.